What's up guys? Welcome to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be about perspective. It's essential for car design and doing your car sketches to look right on the paper. So let's check it out. So the first thing we're going to see, there's uh, three types of perspective. You can do a one point perspective, two point perspective and three point perspective. The one point is the simplest one. The two point is the one mostly used for sketching cars. So I think that will be the most important to us. And then the third one will be the three point perspective, which will apply more like to big objects, buildings, tall stuff. So I'll cover that in basis. So today's video is just going to be about the one point perspective and then we'll do one perspective each week, okay? So let's get started with the one point perspective. Also, one point perspective is the best way to do an interior car sketch because it's the easiest way to show all the interior or the dashboard or the side view. So stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna show you a very quick preview of how you do the interior of a car and then I'll do a future video where I'll cover that in a lot more detail. So for the one point perspective, let me put this in paper so you can see it and then I'm gonna show you how it applies to real life. perpendicular with the camera or your eye view of course so if I have this car right here that's a one point perspective because everything is going into just one vanishing point if I have lowered my horizon it will you will be seeing at the car from the top if I raise the horizon then you'll see the car from the bottom and I'll show that in paper as well now if you see this room this is a good example of one point perspective because magically it's almost like I'm the center of the universe, so every line is converging on me. So if you're gonna draw this room, you're thinking about something that is, all my walls are parallel, they're the same distance for the entire room from here to here and on the back. But if you have to draw it, you have to make all those lines converge into a point. So if you see here, all these lines are coming in and they're coming in and every single line that is parallel to the floor and that is perpendicular to the camera will be following the rules of one point perspective. So let's draw it out so you can see it. So when describing one point perspective, a very good way to describe it, they always try to use train tracks. The reason they use train tracks is because you know train tracks never touch. They're always the same distance because the train is always that same width. It's not getting narrower and narrower as it goes forward. So when you take a shot from the train tracks from above, you can see how they are the same distance. But as soon as we move the camera into perspective, you will see those train tracks. Instead of being like that, they start being like that until they touch at the very end. And that's the magic of perspective. So here's a good live example.
So now here we have a car in one point perspective and we're gonna move it up and down and you can see how it would affect how the lines go into perspective and how the car compresses as it goes backwards. So as you can see, when you do the front view of the interior of a car, you have a vanishing point that is usually gonna be somewhere in the middle of the windshield. All your lines are gonna come down and that's what's gonna mark the edge of your windows, the edge of your seats, your middle dashboard, everything on the car would have to follow those perspective rules. And also, if you go into the side view, then the way you're gonna have like your front dashboard and your seats and all those lines have to follow the one point perspective rules. And that's the easiest way to get all your interior in one shot and have it look proportioned. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put on the comments below if these videos are helping you, anything else you need to learn, what could like make this better. The more feedback you give me, the better these videos are gonna become. So thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe and next week we're going with perspective too. Take care.